in this video we'll be looking into the phases of compiler so mainly the phases of compiler is classified into two phases that is the first one is called as analysis phase and the other one is called as synthesis phase analysis phase is also known as the front end of compiler and synthesis phase phase is referred as the back end of compiler so this is the like steps or the diagram for phases of compiler so it starts from the lexical analyzer syntax analyzer semantic analyzer intermediate code generator code optimizer and then we have code generator and then final output is the target program which we, which which is required so we have syntax table manager here and on the other hand we have error handler so moving on to the each phase let's look into the each phase so the first one is uh, analysis phase okay so analysis phase consists of lexical syntax and semantic analyzer of compiler the synthesis phase comprises of intermediate code generator code optimizer and code generator so now let's look into uh, each phases so the first one is lexical analyzer phase so it is also called as scanner or scanning phase of compiler so the main task of lexical analyzer is to read streams of character of source program as the input and group them into meaningful sequences called as lexemes so this phase is similar to uh, finding words and punctuations in english texts so this phase accepts the source program and separates them into logical groups called as tokens so here we have an example so here we have lexemes and on the other side we have tokens so main open parenthesis close parenthesis a equals and star so those are converted into tokens so main is written as main left parenthesis right parenthesis a is given a unique id that is 1001 so equal to is referred as the assign operator and star as multiplication so looking into the functions of lexical analyzer we the functions mainly deal with elimination of comments and removal of extra white spaces yes then it keeps track of line and column number and passes them as parameters to the other phases to enable error reporting to the user yes and then we have uh, one more function that is to convert sequence of characters into tokens we have seen in the previous example so let's consider this input that is position is equal to uh, like a is equal to b plus d star 60 okay so this is the input given to the lexical analyzer here we get the tokens a is given a unique id 1 equals is written as it is then b is given a unique id d is given a unique id and star all the operators are written as it is so the major function of a lexical analyzer is to convert characters to tokens moving on to the syntax analyzer phase it is also called as passing or pass phase of compiler so it is similar to construction of words and punctuations so this phase accepts token as its input and produces syntax tree or passing or derivation tree as output so in syntax tree all terminals will be the leaves and all inner nodes are terminals so here uh, the output given by the lexical analyzer phase that is tokens are taken as input for syntax analyzer phase so here tokens are taken as input and syntax or derivation tree is obtained so from equals on this side we have id1 and on this side we have all the operators all the operators are uh, are like the inner nodes and all the leaf nodes are the operands so here we have id1 id2 id3 and 60 all these are operands right and internal nodes are operators so yes that's that's how a uh, derivation tree is constructed then the third phase we have here is semantic analyzer phase so it refers to that phase of compiler in which the input program is studied in order to determine what operations are to be carried out so it checks to ensure that components of program fit together meaningfully so um so important functions include type checking where the compiler checks that each operators has matching operands so type checking is an important function of semantic analyzer so normally 
semantic info can't be represented by context free language using uh, used in uh, semantic syntax analyzer so that's why uh, we need uh, we need type checking so here we have cfg that is con context free grammar so it is used in syntax analysis uh, used in syntax analysis so it is used to generate with uh, semantic rules the result is syntax directed translations for example semantic analyzer so the uh, derivation tree or syntax tree is taken as input and uh, given it fed onto the semantic analyzer here we obtain the abstract parse tree or syntax tree so here the input fed here is the syntax or derivation tree and uh, the output we obtain is abstract parse tree or syntax tree so here if you look at 60 so there is a change in the data type from int to float 60 so uh, by this we are obeying the semantic rules of uh, by using the context free grammar then we have intermediate code generator that is the fourth phase of compiler so it accepts the abstract parse tree as input and produces a stream of simple instructions which are necessary to generate the machine code as output which will be represented in the intermediate form called as three address code so uh, it's pretty simple so abstract pass tree is taken as input intermediate code generator here we generate the uh, basic code basic machine code required so that is called as three address code so t1 is taken as uh, in t1 from int to float the operation is done to convert 60 then next t2 is to add id3 and t1 that is this and this and then we have uh, t3 t3 is to add id2 and t2 whichever whatever value we have obtained in the previous step add it here and then id1 is equal to t3 so yeah moving on to the next phase we have code optimizer so the three address code is taken as input and the output is another intermediate code that does the same job as the original code but saves time and space so that's the major difference between intermediate code generator and code optimizer so it deals with local optimization and loop optimization during this phase so this phase improves the speed of program by analyzing the code like replacing uh, expensive operations by cheaper ones eliminate eliminating the redundant instructions or reducing the frequency of same instruction so the three address code is fed as input to the code optimizer phase and the output we get is optimized code output so here you can see one two three four there are four line instruction here and here it is reduced to two lines next we have a uh, code generator so this phase accepts optimized code as its input and converts it into sequence of machine instruction as output it produces the target language in specific architecture be it cisc or risc so here we have the the target pro, the ta target problem is usually a relocatable object file containing the machine code so optimized code is fed as input to the code generator and machine code is obtained as the output so this is the proper machine code so this is how the phases of compiler work so here i have taken that one particular example and written it out so uh, sequence of characters are fed as input to lexical analyzer from there we get tokens as the output these tokens are fed to syntax analyzer and then we get the parse tree now the parse tree is fed as input to semantic analyzer and we get abstract parse tree then from there this is fed to the intermediate code generator and we generate the three address code now three address code is lengthy and it requires more space and time so it is optimized uh, so it is fed to code optimizer and we get optimized three address code then uh, the optimized three address code is again fed to code generator to generate the proper machine code so this is how the phases of compiler work if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you